And I've got my 3000 XP, so I can upgrade my blood spear when I get to a hideout. Is there a bird in there? No. It's have to be like a little bird skeleton. I guess that's crossing the line, huh? It's okay to eat rats, but they're not gonna put a little birdie skeleton in the... ...cage. Quiet night. What was that? I won't let you escape. Wait a minute. Is this Mary? Otherwise, why would this the exact flower that was put on Mary's corpse be be what's was put on that You're very fast, but I'll catch you. Dead body. And how do they know my name? Is this a race, I'm wondering? I mean, there's collectibles all over the place here, so I... I don't want to be... I don't want to miss out on loots. But if I'm supposed to be... Uh, running somebody down... Um, hmm... Where did they go? Yeah, they're this way. Go up. Break the ankles. Oh, we're back to the cemetery. Oh, look at all these dead They've prelims. all been butchered. Ooh. I mean, we've butchered our fair share of pre ones, so I don't know that we really need to sound quite so uh, aghast about the whole thing. But, you know what we could do? In this region, there is this lady. No, not this lady. Oh, she's sick though. Cold. Man, critical? Uh oh. Okay, we need to get. All right, fatigue. Fatigue. Lots of fatigue. All right, is there a. Oops, I don't want that. I want. West End. Well, that's... That's never been open before. Okay, I want this quest right here. Because it's in the area. Yeah, she's very close. And I thought I talked to her when... Oof. All kinds of bad news. Oh, there's there's live pri uh, skulls. They haven't all been butchered. I can still sense a presence. I mean, it's right there. We can see it. Oh, he was dead. <laughs> I'm like, why did I miss? Okay, the blinkers can't use the uh, cudgel on the blinkers because they're too fast. There we go, got him, okay. A little bit of a heal. And I wanna. I wanna try to resolve this side quest before I continue the main. Oh, that's a dead end, but there's a pry one here. Ooh! Holy symbols and aura calcum. If you ever face a vampire, never forget that they fear holy symbols as long as you have the faith. A cross, a star of David, an olive branch even, can prove useful to repel these creatures from the pit. But you will not harm them for good. 
If you really want to hurt them, only one solution exists. Forget about wooden stakes or silver bullets and find yourself the strongest weapon against vampires. Oracalcum. Do you think it's a coincidence that Oracalcum was common in Atlantis? According to the legend and ancient writings, Atlantis was infested with vampires, and the place is now known as the Santorini Island. I'll personally pay 10,000 pounds to the man who can provide me some real Oracalcum. Clarence Crossley, for the more information, please contact me directly. <laughs> oh boy, so I wonder if now enemies are going to have weapons made with Oracalcum and that's going to cause me some ish. Okay, we're close. Ooh, I mean, we're back at the cemetery where Mary was buried, too, so it just seems like it's got it right. I bit up. Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, lady, you got to get out of here. You got to go. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper know, way I, to I, address I, someone in my country. I oh, do apologize, for Xiao Shun. Me. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Xu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. Worse than the Black Plague? I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Oh, that's sad. Okay, well she's healthy, so I don't need to administer any medication to her. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. Hmm... If I'm gonna convince her to go... That was weird. My faucets have been... I don't know if you heard that, but my faucets have been making these... <laughs> <laughs> Weird noises for the last couple days. There's like air coming through them for some reason. Alright, so anyway, if I'm going to convince her to go back to Whitechapel, I think maybe this option would be a good one. You should not be by yourself. Grief can be a terrible trial. And it's even worse when you're alone. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me. Even if I don't quite understand why. Yeah, I'm a caring kind of guy. Uh, what? I let my sister Mary die. What Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? After I killed her. Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. 
since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You Me. could say she was also killed Me. by a terrible disease. I'm the cause. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Okay. The world has cool. Investigation succeeded. Got some XP out of it. It is still telling me to rest to evolve. But we've got another matter to attend to here. The shadowy figure. Oh. Burying the past. Blood trail brought me to the Stone Bridge Cemetery. Someone is definitely playing with me. I'm ready to confront this mysterious schemer and force him to explain to me what his game... What is his game and why did he choose me? To play it. Rescue Vicar Joseph Larrabee? What? Help me, please! You! What have you done? Not Vicar me. Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! <laughs> Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Return from the dead, like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Uh-oh. What is Mother doing here? <laughs> I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead, thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? Uh. The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery. Grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were. In front of me. On a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy. To tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, 
Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed. Reunited and complete. Living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, Mother. Uh -oh. Say hello to my son, Philip. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. <laughs> um... Yes, I'll go home and rest. <laughs> Something going on with it's her. It's so easy to make them <laughs> obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. Oh, that's right. She's mind controlling. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular, that of my dead brother. <laughs> this is the reason I must kill you. Oh. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. <clears throat> Mary. No, don't. Time to die, brother. What? And this time for good. Oh my Killed god. Me, brother. For real? <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, well, she's... God. Mary, don't do this. Don't do this. Mary, no. Mary, no. Oh, wow. She's like... Pretty strong with that thing. Oh, God. Okay, now we gotta... Oh, what's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, what is she doing? What is that? Oh, my goodness. Sorry, Mary. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow, she is tough. Hey, kin slayer. Oh. Oof. Okay, that's a bad place to hey, to me. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Wow. I just got my ass kicked by my sister. All right. Don't hang around in the little rose patch that she grows because that explodes and does bad things to you. What? Wait. What happened? I don't have to watch Help all that again, me, do I? Okay. Again, sweet brother. 
get out of there. Crap. I'm in it. <laughs> Nuts. Block, man. Oof. It just keeps. Chin Slayer! Uh oh. Whew. That was. That was timely and desperate. Attention to that. If oh man, I just can't dodge her, her cross. Oh my gosh. D uh, parrying her, yeah, you can't dodge the cross. It seems like if I try to dodge past her, she just she still hits me. So there's dodging past behind because I tried that with Fergal too, and he would just his forward punch would hit me even though I was behind him, so it seems... like that's just not a thing here. This is not Dark Souls. <laughs> you can't dodge past somebody and get a... God help. I wonder if I want to switch to a firearm. See if this does anything. You killed me, brother. Jeez. trying to use a syringe and it just yeah you just kind of stand there and uh, you know it takes a couple seconds to do all right quick interlude to level up Been wanting to upgrade the the blood spear here. So th concentrate three small blood spears, which can hit all enemies facing you. So this is the shotgun effect that I thought I had already. So I think this will be very useful in these groups of pre ones that I keep encountering. So we're gonna do that. That'll get me up to level sixteen. And let's see if Shadow Mist, if I have enough. No, I do not. That's too bad, because 
Mary is not resistant to shadow magic, so... Uh, I wonder, do I... Upgrade something else, like... Endurance? That doesn't take much. I could get endurance boosted a bit. In fact, that's exactly what we're doing. 530, and I don't think I can upgrade... Oh, I can. Alright, let's get my health up boosted then, too. And that's... Okay. Now that's gonna... That prices me out of all of the other options I've got. So we're gonna go ahead and rest and confirm. That gets me up to level 17. Mary's level 20... One or two. So I'm still... Under... Powered, but... Oh. Christian faith or cult? What is immortality? Having your name inscribed in history, raising children who will honor your memory, earning your place among the saints of heaven. Sean Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum in East End, has his opinion on the matter. Eternity comes to those who bear divine presence in themselves. Mr. Hampton, also known as the Sad Saint for his unequaled empathy toward others and his constant pity for their plight, has grew created with his asylum a haven for lost souls. He keeps the poor fed and gives them a roof to sleep under. Still, the asylum has now been closed for a few days and his last accessible orations took a turn toward cult-like worship. If heresy can be defined as faith gone adrift, Sean Hampton and his flock may have turned into, an, into heretics. For the first time since I have known the sad saint, people speak ill of him and the mysterious chants heard through the closed doors of the shelter worry more than they encourage. As a possible consequence of this suspicion, the sanitary situation of the docks has drastically decreased. Uh-oh. Drastically decreased, deprived of a place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough, preferring to catch their death under the stars than join an unknown cult. That alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint. A reputation that will be stored that will restored that will be restored only when the doors of his asylum open once again. Oh no. Critical. That area is critical. So I've got a bunch of treatments that I can administer to these folks. I've just got to get over there. Mm. Major event. Your choice concerning the community pillar have been reported by the press. Oh, so that was because I let him live? Your actions have impacted the borough's economy? Prices and stocks of the merchants in this district may have changed. Okay, I already read that part. Interesting. Okay, well that's the first time that has happened. Uh, okay, no change in Pembroke Hospital. Oh gosh. Whitechapel is critical. And this place, I don't know, so... I mean, we need to... There's people to talk to here, too. Uh, maybe we do that? I know Swansea's got words for me. Is he in his office? Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. Are we going to talk about Harriet? Okay. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old, embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. 
Why not bring her here? We could <laughs> learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. We don't want her here. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I crossed paths with one, a terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. I mean, I have, but it's not her. A pleasure as always, Edgar. Okay, so that was what he had to say. All right, so I guess now maybe we go down into the courtyard, see if Lady Ashbury's got anything to say. And then we head back to the cemetery, I think. Is there anybody I can help out here? I need to keep that fatigue uh, treatment for all the people in Whitechapel, I think. I think. Where is... Okay, so this body's been cleaned up, finally. Where's Lady Ashbury now? There she is. Oh no, is she feeding on somebody else? Well, she cleaned up this one, too. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital, caused by skulls. Really? What do you mean? I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of Old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name, I've never heard of her. According to Old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, <laughs> let's change the subject. How is Lady Ashbury... Does she, like, employ makeup? Because Jonathan, he's, like, very veiny in the face, and so is Mary. But Lady Ashbury looks, like, powder fresh, so how is, how is she accomplishing that? I'm guessing makeup. Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. 
Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans... Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Goodbye for now, my lady. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man.